Africa uh, has experienced over 20 Ebola outbreaks uh, in the past. Uh, the first time in 1976 in Yambuku, uh, a village in DRC uh, across the river Ebola. And since then, uh, we gained some experience in uh, tackling this uh, type of uh, epidemic. The recent one uh, was uh, announced in March this year, and it started in uh, Guinea. And later on, it spread to two other countries, uh, Sierra Leone and uh, Liberia. And uh, as uh, today, uh, the epidemic uh, uh, was uh, uh, hitting uh, people in rural areas, in uh, urban areas, uh, across borders of the three countries. And uh, the total number of cases at this moment is about uh, 1,369, with about uh, 759 deaths. Uh, we are also concerned because of the significant number of uh, health workers affected and uh, the number of deaths also amongst the health workers. Uh, we registered so far uh, 123 uh, infected health workers and 70 deaths among them. The transmission, as you know, is uh, from men to men uh, within communities. And uh, also we have the nosocomial transmission in the uh, health facility environment. And uh, the interventions are targeted to, to people, providing them with the relevant information for them to take the appropriate preventive measures and protective measures to uh, break the chain of transmission it's also important the tracing of uh, contacts uh, so that uh, we prevent further spread of the disease. Uh, at health facility level, it's important to train the health staff on the infection control measures and also to provide them with relevant uh, tools and protective equipment uh, to minimize and uh, even avoid uh, infection. But despite of all these measures, unfortunately, uh, the number of uh, health workers affected is uh, significant. The epidemic is, uh, the current epidemic is a serious problem of public health. And uh, we are very much concerned. Uh, and uh, the concern reached the, the global level. And uh, despite of the figures we believe that uh, the situation is still controllable if we apply the evidence-based uh, uh, preventive uh, uh, measures. Uh, this is the largest Ebola uh, epidemic uh, that we registered in the history. And uh, we also uh, think that uh, the unusual number of uh, health workers is an aspect that uh, uh, increased the, the complexity in, uh, in uh, tackling the epidemic. Uh, moreover, uh, rural areas, urban areas, and cross-border areas are hit. And uh, there is a significant community resistance in uh, adhering to the preventive measures. And this is mainly due to beliefs and uh, certain rituals with uh, dead bodies and even with uh, patients that uh, uh, are against the, the preventive measures that we recommend. Therefore, it's important to involve uh, uh, socio-anthropologists uh, in this uh, fight uh, against the epidemic. And also the, the leaders at the highest level, they must be involved because it's important to change behaviors in communities and uh, political, religious, and uh, community leaders are important. Uh, and also 
uh, it's important to mobilize the different sectors of the governments and society to, to get involved uh, in this uh, fight against the epidemic. The period of incubation of the virus uh, is from two days to 21 days. And uh, for WHO to declare the epidemic as uh, over, uh, we need uh, zero notification of cases during 42 days. Our intervention as WHO is in, in light of uh, our mandate and the core functions. But in situation of uh, epidemic, uh, we have to, uh, to be more aggressive uh, in terms of uh, uh, mobilization of uh, expertise. And we are uh, redeploying WHO staff uh, within the region. This is uh, the main uh, uh, aspect of WHO support to provide expertise to, to government and to other uh, stakeholders involved in the response. We played our role uh, at the beginning of last uh, month, calling an emergency meeting of the ministers of health of affected countries and uh, other neighboring countries at risk to discuss about uh, the current situation of the epidemic and to uh, elaborate a, a strategy of response. Uh, this was done and uh, afterwards the member states uh, developed their own operational response plans that are currently under implementation. These are emergency plans for the next uh, six months. WHO is also uh, providing uh, support uh, for uh, training of health workers to improve their uh, uh, knowledge in uh, dealing with uh, the epidemic, with the disease in particular in the treatment centers, because uh, uh, the three countries that are currently affected, they are facing the Ebola epidemic for the first time, and they don't have previous uh, experience in dealing with this type of uh, disease. Our support is also in terms of uh, uh, facilitating the, the partnership uh, support to governments and uh, communities. We created the sub-regional Ebola outbreak response center as a technical platform involving other important uh, partners such as uh, uh, the CDC, uh, the Red Cross, the Médecins Sans Frontières, uh, UNICEF, uh, and many other important uh, actors involved in this uh, uh, response, so that we uh, jointly working under the same roof, we make uh, assessments, we define uh, the needs, and we provide our support to governments in a harmonized way of course, uh, working in a mode of uh, emergency. This center is based in uh, Conakry, Guinea, the first uh, country that report uh, the case of Ebola recently. We are already working uh, quite well because, as I mentioned, uh, the situation is so serious, it requires also uh, an emergency uh, action by all the stakeholders. Fundamentally, uh, the governments are the most concerned with their communities, but uh, the international partners, they have a, a very important role to play because uh, this uh, epidemic of Ebola hit three countries with very weak health systems. The capacities, at local level, at community level, are very weak, but the transmission of the infection is at community level, and it is at that level that we have to strengthen the, the delivery uh, uh, of uh, health services in terms of uh, health information, 
uh, health uh, prevention, disease prevention and, uh, and protection. So uh, the partners are playing a very important role. Also because of the, the, the required ex expertise and the technologies in terms of uh, laboratory and treatment and protective equipment that are not uh, usually uh, available in normal circumstances. So we have to call for uh, uh, specific uh, areas of uh, expertise, uh, including the logistics. We are talking about uh, a disease that is uh, provoked by a virus, uh, is uh, highly infectious, and uh, the risk of threat to any part of the globe is, uh, is there. What we should do is to apply all required measures to contain the epidemic in the three countries uh, currently affected. In fact, uh, since uh, the last uh, uh, few days, a fourth country has been affected, Nigeria, with one case that was exported from Liberia. Just one person who took the plane and traveled to Lagos in Nigeria well, uh, created the first case of Ebola in Nigeria. Well, this is an example that uh, uh, the risk of spread uh, exists, but also the measures to prevent, to contain the epidemic uh, are available, but we have to apply them at the right time, at the right place. According to the international health uh, regulations, uh, governments can take uh, any measure that they consider uh, uh, relevant uh, to protect their people or their territories. And uh, WHO currently is not recommending uh, the restriction of travel or uh, closing borders or quarantines, but uh, all depends on the, the seriousness and the way the current epidemic will evolve. Uh, next week we will have a meeting of the emergency committee uh, that was called by the director general of WHO and we will discuss, we will assess the situation and we will see in light of the uh, relevant criteria if uh, WHO will recommend any special measure. But I know that currently uh, some governments are already uh, applying uh, special uh, measures including the U.S. that uh, is uh, recommending uh, travelers to, to, to minimize, uh, uh, yes, uh, traveling to affected countries. Uh, other countries are also uh, envisaging uh, control of passengers in terms of temperature. But uh, as I mentioned, these are uh, measures that uh, uh, governments can uh, take uh, according to their own views. But WHO is not yet uh, recommending any special measure. But uh, we are recommending that uh, uh, people be informed about the existence of the epidemic, of the disease, about the ways and means of prevention and protection and uh, that governments uh, minimize also uh, activities that can bring uh, uh, together uh, uh, mass gatherings that can increase the risk of, uh, of, uh, of spread uh, with people uh, traveling from uh, uh, the three affected countries. I visited the three uh, affected countries. And uh, in terms of uh, international support, 
uh, the needs are more in terms of uh, uh, health personnel, staff, to work at treatment centers level for case management because uh, practically just one international agency, Médecins Sans Frontières, is uh, strongly involved in case management and the need for treatment is quite uh, uh, important and the existing number of uh, treatment centers are not enough uh, to cope with the, the requirements. Uh, I also realize the need uh, to strengthen the laboratory capacity, uh, particularly in uh, Liberia and, uh, and Sierra Leone. Uh, there is also need to strengthen the logistics of the ministries of health for them to address the, the, the needs in terms of uh, uh, emergency because the, the logistics capacity is quite limited in the, in the three countries. Uh, I am referring to trucks and to motorbikes and uh, means of uh, transportation of uh, staff and uh, other uh, equipments and uh, medicines that are required for the operations. I realized the, the need also in terms of uh, uh, providing uh, the right uh, information and using the, the best ways of communication with people because of the issue of resistance and the denial of the infection, there is a need to, uh, to strengthen this aspect of communication to people, to change the behaviors and to make people adhering to the recommendations of the health workers and the national health authorities. We cannot win this epidemic without a positive, active involvement of communities. Because uh, the transmission in most of the cases takes place within communities. And communities must be aware first of the existence of the disease, because some people don't believe that uh, Ebola exists. They must be aware of the, the risk of transmission and the measures that they should apply to avoid the transmission. They must also uh, believe that uh, going to health facilities to seek care can help them to get out of the infection still alive because the case fatality rate of uh, the Ebola virus disease is quite high during the current epidemic is about uh, 62 percent but uh, if uh, people seek health care uh, on time uh, they can survive and there are cases of people survive to the infection. So the work at community level in terms of information is important, but not enough. We also need to have the laboratories to test the suspected cases. We need to have the treatment centers operational with good standards uh, so that uh, we provide uh, the best possible uh, care to infected people. And we prevent also uh, the infection uh, among health workers. So these are the key uh, aspects uh, related with the, the response. But all this takes place at local level. And we need the national authorities, we need the international community uh, to provide the required support. But uh, the means uh, must reach 
the local level, the communities and the treatment centers. In terms of uh, social mobilization and uh, communication, uh, we are working with uh, UNICEF uh, to uh, improve uh, this capacity. And uh, governments are also mobilizing the, the, uh, the press, uh, radio, uh, TV, and all uh, means of uh, social communication to raise awareness amongst people. But uh, uh, we have to convey the right messages in a language that uh, the people understand. So the use of uh, local languages is also very much important if you want to trigger positive changes in the behavior of people. And uh, this is taking place, but it is also taking time because the change of behavior related with culture, religion, or other aspects that are traditional uh, takes time. It's important to highlight the general uh, sense of uh, fear about the Ebola disease because uh, it kills. It is not well known. And the uh, people are very much afraid. Even the way the dead bodies should be buried change. We are recommending the use of uh, plastic bags and uh, certain proceedings for the burials, avoiding contacts with uh, relatives, but this again implies change of uh, culture, of, uh, of traditions, of rituals. And uh, people are not uh, ready to change overnight. But uh, we are realizing positive uh, 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 behaviors now as the information reached people and they understand the advantage of uh, these proposed changes. I hope we will uh, see this epidemic uh, over uh, as soon as possible, because there are so many health challenges in Africa that uh, the current epidemic is uh, really diverting a lot of uh, resources, uh, including time uh, that uh, could be dedicated to tackle other priority public health problems in Africa, such as uh, maternal mortality, child mortality, and uh, other uh, diseases.